There is an Indo-European folk branch, it includes the Germanic peoples, and the Germanic peoples are divided into branches, we will talk about one of the branches. Englishmen. At the moment, there are about 110 million people who consider themselves English, among them, only 45 million live in England, there are large diasporas in the USA, 23 million, in Canada, 17 million, in Australia, 12 million and in New Zealand 2 and a half million. The English, oddly enough, speak English, it is one of the most popular languages in the world, only Spanish and Chinese are more popular, the total number of English-speaking people is 379 million people and has official status in 67 countries of the world. Modern Englishmen were formed from Germanic tribes, Angles, Saxons, Jutes and Friesens, who migrated to the British Isles in the 5th and 6th centuries. The Celts who lived there were pushed back by the Anglo-Saxons to Wales and Scotland. The next stage of the formation of the British is considered to be the era of the Vikings, who plundered and conquered England. English culture was changing under the pressure of the Scandinavians. The Viking rule in England lasted more than 200 years. The next most important event for English culture was the Norman conquest of England. When William the Conqueror invaded England, he brought with him French culture and language. All the nobility spoke French, while English remained the language of the rabble. Pretty quickly, the Franks and the British merged into one single culture. By the 16th century, the generally accepted English language had developed. And then there was the era of geographical discoveries. But in this video we will not focus on this. This is a topic for a separate video. In short, Great Britain got a large number of colonies where it spread its language and culture. Summing up, we can say that the English people have gone through a long and interesting process of formation, they have absorbed the best features of other peoples, 